What's going on ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys are having a great day as usual. So for this video guys, you already know what it is, Transformers Prime Season 2 Episode 20. Before we jump into the video guys, hit the like button because it helps the channel and the video grow a lot. Enough talking though, let's jump into the video, we'll have a little discussion after. Let's go. Energon signal's getting stronger, about five clicks due north. speed limit. I have a gauge in here that goes to 150. If the humans who designed my vehicle form didn't want it to go that fast, they shouldn't have given me the option. Whoa! Hey, Indy 500! When I'm through with you, you're gonna need more than a pit crew to put you back together. <laughs> Bring it! Transformers, robots in disguise? Disguise? <laughs> What's up, guys? It's been a while. Who's the tough guy now, huh? <laughs> Relax, Bumblebee. I'm just messing around. <laughs> Found it. All Road Rage didn't waste any time posting your mug shots. Raffle scrub this as soon as he's back from house hunting. Is this what you learned while serving Alpha Tryon? I highly doubt that he would have condoned such irresponsible behavior. Blowing your cover is not okay. Sorry, guys. I know I really messed up. While Ratchet and RC are correct, I believe that we are all equally responsible for this incident. Us? How? You weren't even there. Well, B was. <laughs> Our recent efforts have been so intensely focused on averting crises that we have overlooked simple matters, such as teaching Smoke's Green how to best function on this planet. It is an oversight that must be corrected. Optimus, I'm honored to train under you, and will do whatever it takes to make things right, to make you proud. Perhaps the best way for you to learn about the human world is from a human. Smoke's Green gets his own partner? Oh, please. Isn't having three humans here enough? I was referring to one already among us. Uh, sure. Optimus, um, robots in disguise, traffic laws. Don't be down, humans. I can bring smoke screen up to speed. We've all put in curbside duty. Part of the gig. Then let's go for a drive, Teach. Optimus, with all due respect, Agent Fowler is out relocating Raft's family because the cons discovered where he lives. Meanwhile, Smokescreen, in all his wisdom, chooses a vehicle mode with screaming double 38s on the doors, making him an easy target. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't more than concerned about Jack's safety. Nonetheless, the fact remains that our new recruit is in need of instruction. I believe that Smokescreen's spark is in the right place, and that he now understands the necessity of protecting humanity. Okay, intersection. Let's review. Lights green. Green for go. And yellow. Go faster! Whoa, whoa, Smokescreen! Oh. <laughs> Just 
just messing around. Ha ha. Uh -oh. What is it? Cons? I'm just someone from school I'd rather not talk to. <laughs> Drive! Red light, teach. No can do. Seriously? Just let it go. Are you kidding me? Where's your self-respect? We gotta stand up for ourselves. We also have to follow Optimus's rule. It's not just about protecting humans. You can't harm them either. Who said anything about harming? this tonight <laughs> <laughs> RC RC check out Vince's car the bully <laughs> hey Vince did you want fries with that <laughs> let me get this straight so you taught smokescreen everything he never needed to know about fast food he passed driver's ed Work hard, play hard. Uh, yeah, no humans were harmed in the making of these photos. Honest. You have decoded the next Iacon coordinates? Excellent sound wave. Then it is time to beta test our decoy. finished decoding the next Iacon coordinates. You may not need to complete your task, Optimus. An Iacon locator beacon. It seems the Decepticons have already excavated the next relic. Ratchet, triangulate coordinates and activate the ground bridge. the cons. Where is Smokescreen? Out training again with Jack. We cannot wait. Autobots, transform and roll out. I certainly hope that our new acquisition is of Decepticon origin. It cannot be. Power of this magnitude must never be allowed to fall into the hands of Optimus Prime. No matter what. is emanating a protective shield. It will only respond to the power of a prime. Uh, we will remove it. 
good if we have to take the entire mountain! Optimus, I just picked up a second Iacon locator beacon. Optimus, do you read? <sighs> no sign of cons. My boss is gonna freak. That thing we stuffed in his tailpipe. Uh, what's it called again? Pizza! <laughs> Will you two keep it down? RC? Bulkhead? Can anyone hear me? Ratchet, what's going on? Our sensors detected a second Iacon locator beacon. But I can't reach Optimus. I'll go. Alone? You have a better option? <sighs> Fine. He says fine. But I don't think he really wants me to go alone. I just pulled a Miko. Let's go grab a relic. Whoa, it's a sword. Not just any sword. That looks like the Star Saber, a legendary weapon forged by Solus Prime, as lore would have it. It's rumored to wield the power of the Matrix, I'm gonna make Optimus proud. Not a good idea. Why? Because Megatron's here. The Dark Lord himself. He won't know what hit him. Smokescreen, wait. Something isn't right. Why doesn't Megatron just take the Star Saber? Germaphobe? Seriously, we need to wait for backup. You heard Ratchet. Backup's not available right now. Commence transport! No. no, this can't be happening. Ratchet, you gotta get Optimus here now. Smokescreen went for the relic. It's called the Star Saber. Ah! Did you say Star Sabe? Oh my. Jack! Optimus, please respond! I can see that you're alive, Optimus. Why won't you answer me? Ah! Oh, every time we get close to the beacon, the signal moves. All this legwork is giving me itchy fists. It seems we have been led astray by a Decepticon trick. We have a situation. Oh. 
to me. What is your name, Autobot? Why? Who wants to know? <laughs> Where's Optimus? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Keep Prime from the rally! Oh. I got you back. <laughs> RC! Yeah. What could you possibly have been thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Optimus! Let's go! I loosened it for him. Drop the mountain on him. Optimus, retreat! Now! Just... Yeah! No way. <laughs> it can do that? <gasps> Decepticons now face our darkest hour. How epic was that? Oh, I saw it with my own optics. But I still don't believe it. You know what I don't believe? That after everything you've been told, you still put a human at risk. Uh, RC, it wasn't his fault. I shouldn't have... Don't you even start with me. We'll talk tomorrow. Send Jack home.
Green for go. We've been in need of another Autobot in our ranks, not another child. Look, RC, I was wrong, and I'm sorry. Again. And if you need to kick me off Team Prime... Disregard for human safety, or anyone's safety, will not be tolerated. Do you understand? Fully, sir. We must never lose sight of the fact that upon this Earth, we are Titans, and such power must be used wisely. Whoa. Optimus, speak to me. Optimus. I am receiving a message. From whom? Alpha Trion. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Great episode. There's so many things happened throughout that episode. So let's jump right into it. Let's start at the end. Who is Alpha Trion? Is he an ancient Autobot trying to help Optimus um, by giving him like ancient knowledge and ancient wisdom that could help him fight against the Decepticons? Is he talking about the Star Saber? Was he the creator of it? Was he the first Autobot to wield the Star Saber? I cannot wait for this information to find out who he is and, and what he's giving Optimus. Is it ancient knowledge? Is it knowledge about the Star Saber? Is it some ancient weakness that we don't know about the Decepticons? Who knows? Hopefully we find out by next episode, but at least we gotta find out by the end of this season because it seems like this information or knowledge is gonna play a crucial part in the Autobots versus the Decepticons moving forward. So, first of all, who is Alpha Trion? No spoilers in the, in the comment section. We're all gonna figure this out together, guys. So. Don't worry about it. If you know already, I know you guys want to tell everybody. I know you guys want to get that off your chest, but come on, no spoilers. Secondly, the Star Saber. Come on, it, it, it has to remind you of Excalibur with Sir Lancelot or even uh, modern day. Um, I know more people are more conscious about this because uh, it's a Marvel character. It's almost like Mjolnir and Thor as well with his, um, like I said, with Mjolnir, his hammer. So... It's almost the same thing. It's like only one person or a few people, like the worthy people, could wield um, the Star Saber. Maybe it's only the prime, um, the primes with the Star Saber. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know how the lore works. And that's why I'm trying to say, like, Alpha Trion hopefully explains a lot of this, these questions that I have. If you guys know the answers and it doesn't explain them in this show, let me know in the comment section because that's not really a spoiler. It's more like lore and information that I would love to learn learn and know about these um, Transformers and the shows. I just love learning about a lot of lore. So anything that I could just learn more about, let me know in the comment section. But there's definitely going to be a huge implication. It seemed like Megatron was even pissed. That Optimus got the Star Saber. He was pissed, and it seems like now the Autobots have the advantage in the war against uh, the Decepticons. So it's very interesting. The tables have kind of shifted, and um, we're going to see how that works its way out. Um, so that was a great part of the episode. Sec uh, thirdly, I guess, Smokescreen, he's going a little crazy. He's too, too out there, too forward-thinking, too... Like, I want to do everything by myself, and he kind of has to take a back seat to everybody else. All the Autobots have already been on Earth for a long time. They probably wanted to do a lot of the things that he's doing without, throughout this episode, but they kind of toned it down and, and realized it's more important to stay in disguise and to help humans and take care of humans and not blow your disguise every, every opportunity that you get in an altercation with a human because it's just going to hurt you rather than help you, so... He's learning, 
This episode is great though, guys. I'm super hyped for the next episode. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video because it helps the channel and the video grow a lot. But I'm going to wrap it up. So take care of yourself. Stay safe because it is a crazy world and there are a lot of crazy people. But most importantly, guys, you already know by now. Peace.